Hi guys, Kian here with another Goddess video involving patch 1.3. I will be talking about problems and fixes with this patch. The biggest thing in this patch, I think, is the advancement to the Bronze Age. Um, with the new patch, they added a lot of chests to the, the region. For example, there's, there's some over here that I've not opened yet. I think, yeah, there's one here. Let's open it. Let's open them now. Um, these chests just allow you to just get to the the Bronze Age much easier. Like I, I had quite a few left to get, and it just advanced me right away. And I actually got some of the stuff in the Bronze Age as well, which is quite nice. Um, Bronze Age biggest thing is that advancement isn't done anymore on the on population increase. It's done on farming. Uh, you have to create some some amount of food, which is really really grindy. But I suppose the different way to do it, and it's really passive, like. You create the farms by uh, clicking on the flag that appears in the town and this sends out farmers to build farms and they have to be around settlements. Um, they, they, they just they generate food over time and the more farms you have obviously the more food you'll generate. Uh, they also added a, a lot of gems, more gem patches which is really useful because settlements at this stage need gems to create like I've got about seven or eight maybe settlements and as you can see here they need 70 gems to create. One thing I noticed in the patch notes was that it said it would remove a lot of pointless clicking which I don't really understand because farming is still done by farming belief, it's still done by clicking on all these to get belief and it's really pointless because my settlements generate just so much that I never need any more belief. Um, but sculpting is still done by the same clicking you can cliff sculpt obviously, but it's not really the point. But I, I don't understand where this uh, less clicking has come from. The only thing I have noticed is that settlements don't have flags unless there's something to, to actually to do. Like, I'll try and find something where I've got a patch. Like, this one. Like, there's gems there that I can mine. Um, so, that this one is up, so this guy will go over to the mine. But if there's nothing nearby to do, these must be to mine this one. There, there, there won't be any flags up or build here. Um, I, I don't really know why this is, and it really, it really gets a problem for battles. Um, but I, it's like you can't just call out all your all your guys to go and build a new settlement somewhere else, which is really a useful and fast way to build a, a new area of stuff. So I'm not understand why they've done that. There are a couple more bugs in the game that have appeared since the last patch that weren't in it before, like um, shrines appearing underwater. Apparently the way to build these is to build land beside it and they will build um, they'll build the shrine up. Um, well, the biggest problem I found though is get the game crashing. It will just randomly it will just freeze and you'll be taken back to your desktop obviously. But um, this is most often a problem when starting up the game. Sometimes you have to start up the game five times or more, and you have to go into the um, the files and delete some some save files and stuff. It doesn't actually delete your save, um, but it, it it sometimes works. It sometimes lets you on it, but it's really really buggy and it's annoyed my uh, my friends on Steam by constantly logging in and out of the game. Um, I think this just needs to be a fixed as soon as possible um, it's a, just a really annoying give you a run through of some of the new cards you get uh, in the Bronze Age um, farming is the most important one because um, that's how you advance there's uh, stuff like shoes, this is just a I don't really know why this is in it it just makes your followers run faster one thing I've noticed is it takes an enormous amount of resources which you can buy with the gems you create but Still, um, it takes a lot longer to advance in this era than the primitive era, which is understandable because this is what happens. So you just assume that because it's more and more stuff happening. Um, there's debate, which I think it gives you it gives you more belief for settlements and politics, which if it lets me click on it. Uh, decreased cost of place and settlements, which I think would be good. I don't know if that'll reduce it to belief or it will still be gems. Um, let's go through and see what else we've got. Uh, Specialised labour, that gives you um, 
more uh, food produced from your farms. Uh, ploughs takes you less time to build farms. Terrace farming um, improves the efficiency of your farms on mountains. And cartography, I'm not sure what this does actually. Oops. It's really buggy this still, it takes a long to long time to load. Um all influence areas increased by ten percent, so that's like your uh shrines of speed and stuff like that. And I'm guessing it might be your settlements as well. Cause it leads to town planning, which if we go on a bit. Um well it's aesthetics, that just in, um makes your your buildings look uh, better. Uh village, that's creates a larger settlement. Uh, town planning. Let's see what this actually does. Uh, uh, let you move your houses around, which is quite good, I suppose. Um, soil farming. This allows you to farm more efficiently on beaches. Um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find that. Um, one thing I noticed is that there's been a update to buildings around the uh, towns. Like if you look at this one. It's a lot more plain compared to these ones here. They seem to have more stories and stuff like that. Um, also, I've unlocked the um, the sixth tier of um, buildings, which take with one worker take about eight hours to complete in real time. So it's good to have a few workers working on them. I think this is a that's a fifth, fourth tier one. That one there. There's a few of those fourth tier ones. This is the sixth tier one here. It's a pretty huge building. I've got a couple of the fifth tier ones, I'm not sure where they are. I think there might be one there. There's definitely one over here though. I think I'd, we could add as a mini map that you make it go across the map quicker. Yeah, this is a fifth tier one here, so it's slightly bigger than those fourth tier ones. Uh, another thing I've noticed is since the patch, there's been a lot less land expansion cards, which means, I, well, I think it means that. You're more focused on like advancing your current population rather than expanding. But expansion is done through these shrines, this one here, which I found. Um, there's one here, uh, and this one under. It was under water that I found. Yeah, those. Uh, these are the um, expansion shrines. You see this one? It's not. It's. I don't know. Understand the menu. Sometimes you click on stuff and it tells you what it is. So other times it just doesn't, I don't understand that. But yeah, those will be the um, expansion um, cards you get and you allow you to expand. This area here looks very interesting, especially there's a, I showed in the last video, yeah, there's a boat and uh, some kind of giant turtle bones, shrine, stonehenge things. That's where I want to get to because I think it might unlock some cool things. But that may be another patch you may not be able to get there until the next age. So follower intelligence can be quite bad. Um, these fools are trying to get up this mountain, but they can't really do it because I don't know why. Like. I don't know what I can do to make them to make them try and go up. Look, I need to clear this bit out so I can unlock this chest. But they won't go up the mountain. Also, like, they can tell their health now, what they're doing. And, uh, apparently what else they're doing. But I don't know why there's two different things It seems to be the same. Uh, like, I'll find a farmer. Uh, there's a farmer. Farming field. Farming. Of course he's farming. If he's farming a field. I don't understand that. See how these guys are getting on. He wants to go there. I, I don't know. I don't know. And finally he mines! Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've not had a problem with my voice. I am ill at the moment. Uh, any questions are welcomed. Uh, any problems? Any problems of God issue you would like me to make a video? Anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe.